Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Papa Bell. Welcome to the channel. I just wanted to show you something that I find to be pretty awesome. As it gets slower, it kicks in because it's not a very strong pulse. But this currently is not plugged in at all. It's got capacitors on it and that's it. And it's it's working. You can see it working, but it only works for a little bit. So I spin it with my finger. We see the voltage go up slightly. So we need a jump start because that that's four volts and it's two capacitors right there. So we need uh, they're twenty five volt capacitors. We need to juice them up with uh, something that will spin it and then we can turn that off. But it's gotta be a smooth transition from off to coast. You know, it's gotta slide right into the coast mode or it's not, not gonna work out real well. But you can see it right there, it's working and then it'll stop. Still a real quick one. I'm just, um, this is awesome. And probably a lot of people out there knew that this could happen. But I didn't know. Now I do. See, so what it is, is at, at 120 degrees, there's larger coils. And they're all hooked up in a series circuit connected to the capacitors. So all the small coils are going into the capacitors. And then the capacitors are going out to the three coils in the reed switch. And you get you get about two turns. With me spinning with my finger. So with with four to five volts, we're gonna get two full rotations. Uh, one and a quarter. We'll give it one and a quarter. It only goes down to two volts, so you know, below two volts, you're not going to get a, a magnet out of it. But you know, get a good spin. And I'm wondering now that I got all of the small coils hooked up, if it's slowing it down even more, which I think it is. I mean, I think we're getting more voltage, but I, I'm thinking there's a happy medium where we can get even more voltage if we unplug a few of the coils, let it spin a little, little better, get a little less voltage off the wire, but you get a little bit more voltage off the speed. So, and we're just we're trying to get the capacitors juiced up so that they will spin the wheel. And as it spins the wheel, it should continue to juice up the capacitors. It won't spin forever. But if we can find the, the happy medium, it should spin for a while. And, you know, two capacitors is just, you know, it's a diagram. Because there's, there's six more right here. So... You know, all this is very modular. <laughs> and I know there's like something with perfection, but even I would say even perfection has a range. Even, even the, you know, because if you can imagine it, you know, even the singularity, if you can imagine it, then it's, then it's beep, 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 beep. You know, it's least, at least it's uh, 
tangible in that arena, you know. You can imagine it. Or, you know, some people like to go beyond imagining and use the same skill to virtually see what's going on. But uh, technically, I think it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Um, but that's neither here nor there. I think this is really, really cool. I think as soon as I get all these capacitors plugged in in a series circuit, I might hook a, a, the, the motor, but, and then you have the pulse motor be hooked to the capacitor setup, and then just have the permanent magnet motor hooked to the shaft and that'll be our jump starter we get the capacitors charged up and then we turn it off and it's really smooth it's like really smooth so I'm, I'm thinking that it'll apply a little bit of friction but not not too terrible amount of friction there's definitely going to be some friction but I think we can handle it at least for a little while you know at least for a little while and I, I think that'll be good. I think we got a winner, though. I mean, I've had a lot of ideas, too. Like, with the 9, if we move it into position here, you got one magnet, one magnet at the big one, one magnet at the big one, one magnet over here at the big one. Then you move it, and then you got a big one. What I'm trying to say is with that configuration in the nine magnets, I could put a read switch, just shift, vir vir virtually shift all the large coils to the right from where I'm at. So shift it this way. Shift it that way, shift that one over there, and it'll have the same 120 degree ray. And then you just put a read switch on each one. With uh, capacitors. And. But I think that that would work out better if I had uh, dual coils uh, instead of just a singular coil. So having like two types of wire going through the same coil at the same time would be probably the better way to go when doing the staggered uh, coils. Anyway, I have a lot of ideas now, and this is working out too cool, man, too cool. So, uh, please subscribe, have a great night, and I will see you later. Peace out.